Funa. Mr. Speaker, I rise pursuant to Standing Order 237. On the business we just transacted on comments on petitions, my reading of that uh, Standing Order is that when the Speaker allows comments, the, the comments are in relation to a petition. That is singular. So, Mr. Speaker, when there are two petitions that are then rolled into one, the Speaker should be at least clear on how much time is allocating every petition. Because, Mr. Speaker, I feel that when a petition is presented by a member of another delegation, touching on the delegation, like say Nairobi, you have just been discussing Nairobi. I have interacted with this matter day in, day out. Then for me not to get an opportunity to speak on it because time has been fixed and then it is attached to both petitions, Mr. Speaker, I feel it's unfair. So prior to committal of the petitions to the committee, it would be nice when the Speaker rolls two petitions into one for comments by members to specify whether that 30 minutes is for both petitions or according, in accordance with 237, each petition is going to get 30 minutes. That was my point of order, Mr. Speaker, and I couldn't raise it when the Speaker was on the floor. These are some of the challenges we are experiencing with the standing orders as Senators trying to transact business in this House. I thank you. S S Senator Sufun, are you saying there is no Speaker now in this uh, House? Because you, you said you, you could not raise the, your point of order when the speaker was, uh, was, was, was chairing. Mr. Speaker, I think one of the tools of debate that has been demonized in this house is a point of order. So when you hear somebody uh, shouting point of order, you just think it is something negative. Mr. Speaker, I couldn't do it when, uh, uh, I, I, what term do I use? When the substantive speaker was, was now committing the petitions to the committee. When I tried to raise it when you had called the next order, it was also problematic because you asked me to wait for the minority whip to finish. And uh, by that time, uh, matters have already progressed. No, so no problem. Because what I'm saying know, is that yeah. there is a speaker on the seat. I can see you, Mr. Speaker, very well. I, I can see you. <laughs> so maybe we get guidance on that uh, as members of yeah, the you'll speaker's get, panel. You'll guidance. You'll thank you. Guidance. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Accordingly. Senator Gloria, you know, once I dispense of a matter, what is your point of order? Mr. Speaker, I just wanted to air. Um, but the, if it's on your addressing, it, that no, is already, uh, it is, uh, it's already done. Mr. Speaker, it's, this issue is actually a pressing issue because even earlier today, we came ready for supplementary questions for the cabinet secretaries. And Mr. Speaker, some of us, it is like our, our dashboards are like hazards. They are just on, 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 and we are not getting the opportunity to actually do your point of order. My point of order, Mr. Speaker, is that aside from the, 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 the reference that Senator Sifuna is actually making on the book is that there is an issue here on 